Welcome to Lady V Show. I'm your host, Victoria Amo, Lady V. We focus on family, faith, talent, and community. Our topic today is on self-empowerment, talent, and community as a whole. We, and today we have our community leader who is a great artist, teacher, inspiring, and do a lot of stuff in the community all his life. So he's going to tell us more about what he has been doing. So also joining me today is my co-host. Hi everybody, it's Chanel. Nice to see you guys again. So our special guest, Mr. Hall, welcome to You're Lady welcome. V Show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you on Lady V Show. And we know you have been very, very committed in the community. You've been doing a lot of stuff, teaching, inspiring, especially on art, music, dancing. You wear, you have, you wear many hats. <laughs> So and a beret. A beret. <laughs> so share with us more about your talent and area of uh, expertise. Right. <laughs> share with our audience your area of expertise and talent and Oh I have been so wonderfully blessed with uh, several talents. Uh, I started singing when I was about five or six years old. Wonderful. I guess my aunt must have heard me singing around the house. Yeah. <laughs> so she took me to uh, the local radio station they had a program called Lanaman's Children's Hour. And they auditioned kids, and then they chose one to sing on the radio. Mm -hmm. And I sang along with other kids who were there, and they chose me to sing on the radio. Uh, the song I sang was I'm looking over a four-leaf clover. I'm looking over a four-leaf clover mm -hmm. that I've overlooked before. Wonderful. One leaf is sunshine, the second is rain, third is the roses that grows down the lane. <laughs> no need explaining, the one remaining is somebody I adore. I'm looking over a four-leaf clover that I overlooked before. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I didn't even prepare um, for that. Do you work with children? Are you teaching children some of the things that you're doing? Like that song, that sounds like something that would be great for children. Yeah. You know? I have not worked with children in a while, but I have. Uh, the companies, and I've performed with several companies, we used to do a lot of school shows. Oh, yeah. So that definitely sounds like something that would be really cool. And uh, I've taught kids, uh, you know, when we would go to do residences or even perform in a community and uh, members of the company would be asked to teach master classes. Mm -hmm. So I have taught kids, but um, not in a while. Um, and I enjoy kids. Uh, but it, it, it's been a while since I have done so. Okay, so can you let us know and the audience know, like, some of the things that you're doing right now? Like, some of, are you, you said something um, on the podcast that we were doing that you just had a play uh, that was going on. Can you let them know about what you're uh, doing right now where they can check uh, it out? One of my uh, 
talents is writing and uh, I have a play called Snapshots in Transit mm -hmm. uh, that I've been developing since the 80s and the last production of it was uh, two years ago at the Manhattan Comedy Club, the Broadway Comedy Club. Mm. Uh, it's a play of uh, about six characters relating or talking about their life experiences. And uh, I describe them as seasoned adults. <laughs> so they approach life or relate aspects of their life from, you know, many different uh, perspectives. Uh, I also do poetry. I have some lengthy pieces. I have some short pieces, which I call my locus, as opposed <laughs> to the Asian haikus. <laughs> But presently, I have an exhibit at the Manhattan Center of Empire State College. Empire State College was my undergraduate alma mater. I attended the Brooklyn unit. Um, I'm an 83 graduate. I attended the Brooklyn unit, which was in restoration at the time I was registered, but now the Brooklyn unit has moved to Livingston Street. Mm -hmm. But my exhibit is at the Manhattan unit. The exhibit opened early October, and it's there and will uh, be there until the end of December. My medium that wise is uh, oils on canvas and on paper. Okay. Um, I also sing with uh, presently the <laughs> Brooklyn Contemporary Chorus. Mm -hmm. And we just had our annual concert of Handel's Messiah, which we do annually wow. the first Saturday of every December at the Lafayette Avenue Presbyterian Church. Wow. And we just did that. We do two Wonderful. concerts a year. Our next concert will be in the spring, the first Saturday of June. Mm. Okay. okay. Wonderful. Do you wear so many hats? That's why. <laughs> You know, and my beret, to, don't forget. My beret, yeah, and I know you wear that all the time. It's hard to know wear. That's why. My I say, my jaunty beret, it's very always jaunty. Good. It's always good for individual to express themselves. That's that, that's great. That's great. Very talented, uh, in many ways. But the unique part of it is that you you put to the community, you get involved with the community, with the church and uh, music and with adult children and individual. That's a lot, a lot of uh, achievements. Um, very personally, I really commend you and uh, grateful for you to share your talent and you know, inspiring other people as well, you know, for the unique talent you have. That's great. Well, talent is somewhat like money. And as a character in uh, uh, what Broadway and movie was that, uh, that mm -hmm. says um, money is like manure. Mm -hmm. You got to spread it around. All right. <laughs> Talent is like manure. You have to spread it around. And also keeping to yourself what you have learned does you no good or anyone yeah. 
else any good. Wow. Whatever okay. has been given to us to was given to us in order for our growth, mm -hmm. um, for us to grow and for us to lend it to others or give it to others so they can grow too. Nothing, nothing held is ever of, of any benefit. Right. And um, I always think of that parable that Jesus told about the king hmm. who called his servants. He was going away. He said, <laughs> one talent here, three talents yeah. there, ten <laughs> talents there. And when I come back, I want you to report to me. Hmm. Well, the one who got one talent said, what good is this? And buried it. The one who got five talents and so on and so forth, they doubled it. Mm -hmm. You know, so when the king came back and said, okay, report to me, the one who had buried his talent, he was soundly trounced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's one thing that when you ask in God for the, you want also with the talent that he gave him, one, two, you give one, you give five or other people. Maybe also we have to ask God for more wisdom <laughs> to know what to do with the talent. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes people get talent, they don't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. they don't, mm -hmm. It's not like they don't want to share or so, they just don't know what to do with it. So we have to ask God for wisdom or direction or help us to make sure we use that talent wisely mm -hmm. and use it to benefit other people not only for ourselves but to benefit other people and yeah. inspire other mm -hmm. and that's what i cherish and appreciate in you that you share your talent you inspire other people and um, that's great yeah, yes. We're super thankful for you coming on the Lady B show mm -hmm. and sharing your talent with us and our audience. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure as you said, you you teach, you you have you wrote books. I mean, you write poem and hopefully you will write a book also to support it. <laughs> that and, has been yeah. suggested. And when I see your arts, very beautiful stuff. Oh, thank yeah. you. And what is one more thing I see in that art is like uh, you put human to it. You make it alive, you know. So you make it live. <laughs> and that, you know, people, you know, because when we look at art, everybody see it in different ways. Mm. But when you see life in something that you can relate to, that's unique. That's a great talent. Oh. And I'm glad that you are teaching other people to do that. I have had some amazing teachers. And all my teachers have inspired me. Mm. Uh, there was one teacher in particular. When I was studying at the Dance Theater of Harlem, uh, this teacher... Uh, Tanakil Leclerc. Mm. She was one of Balanchine's wives. But when she was my teacher, she was teaching from a wheelchair. Mm. She had contracted polio. Mm. That did not stop her. Mm. So when I saw this lady teaching from a wheelchair, wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much more inspiring yeah. could that be? That's great. So, uh, my teachers have just been so amazing in, 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 in so many ways. And, and once... Uh, <laughs> but, well, I appreciate your own that you, you learn it and you pass it on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we learn something. We, the people learn great stuff, they keep it. Mm -hmm. But you learn it and you pass it on. Mm -hmm. Pass forward or mm -hmm. pay forward mm -hmm. somehow. <laughs> Either pay forward or pass forward. <laughs> right, so you didn't say, and that's what it's supposed to. You know, we keep on 
helping the new generation mm -hmm. and give them the right direction. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they will take it. But at least we do our, you know, do the part. And uh, and you, you know, you didn't retire. You still keep them going. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so like, where does the energy come from? After all these years, you've been dancing, you've been yeah. dancing, poetry. Where does all this talent, ideas, where does it come from? Well, sometimes I, when I look back on it, I am amazed too that while I was working full time, mm -hmm. I was doing all the other things that I was doing. Mm. I was teaching at one point at a university in Ohio, at Denison University. I still maintain my apartment here. Mm. So I would come back during the summers and for the holidays. Oh. I would come back and I would start painting in my kitchen around 11, 12 o'clock. Wow. And the next thing I would look up, it was 2, 3 o'clock in passion. the morning <laughs> yes. Yes, passion for and <laughs> I am wondering oh my goodness where did the time go but with my artwork for one I have had spiritual motivation very good because there are times when I will start a piece with a particular idea mm -hmm. and after a while it speaks to me and it leads me someplace yeah, else mm -hmm. and so go. I follow it, mm -hmm. you know, but art is cosmically inspired mm -hmm. and a lot of my work has a celestial bent to it. I have always been fascinated with the universe. And I remember from a kid, I would spend so much time looking up at the sky and I would see animals, I'd see angels, I, even to today. I was in Havana recently during the summer, my second trip, I was there last year also, and the sunsets, the sky, in the formation of clouds in the sky. Yeah. Yeah. I can only imagine how beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. Sitting on the Malecon by the ocean and just looking at the waves and the water and drinking in all of that energy. Yeah. Yeah. I've just always been fascinated by nature. Yeah. And nature is always speaking to me. I remember one instance I was with one of the companies I worked with. We were at a college upstate. And I got up this morning before everyone else, we were staying in the university's guest house. Mm -hmm. And I walked out onto the grounds. Um, the trees were right there. And I entered. And immediately, I felt a presence. And the air around me was just vibrating. Beautiful. But I, I wasn't afraid. Mm -hmm. It's just that it arrested my attention and it made me so much aware of where I was. And just as soon as it appeared, it disappeared. Mm -hmm. And I said, how do I capture this? And I wrote a poem about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do most of the time because when you believe and walk with the Holy Spirit, 
it comes to you in many forms. Mm -hmm. But you will feel it and you will know the person. Mm -hmm. Usually, I'm blessed with the dream. But when I wake up, I have to look back and say everything will be like real. I say, oh my God, I can't believe I'm in dream. But I try to write it, you know, like a poem, because I'm not a good writer, but I wrote poem. <laughs> it's easy for me to write it in poem. But you see the viva, everything come alive, everything come new. And I always thank God, you know, and to walk with the Holy Spirit and the feeling, the spiritual, you see the nature, everything is a blessing. Many ways. We it talk, happened. Yeah, it come all the time. We speak <laughs> many ways. You know, the thing is that nowadays it's just hard to express your feeling, how you feel, when the Holy Spirit arises to you or when you feel it, when you dream, or either when you stay alive. It, mm -hmm. Sometimes it may not come. Mm -hmm. You feel it. You know something is going on. Mm -hmm. People sometimes think you're crazy or you're too much about God, you're too much about this, about that. No, so it's hard. We are. We are. <laughs> so, a long we time, you just have to see, oh my God. A but thank great you, Lord. part of us Universe, yeah. is spiritual. Mm -hmm. And we never stop to nurture that yeah. or examine it mm -hmm. um, we deny it <laughs> a, lot world, so a lot of time personally a lot of time the world is so material yeah. that it pushes you to deny your spirit mm -hmm. we have to listen to ourselves yeah. we have to listen Silence. to that still small voice mm -hmm. which speaks to us yeah. But we are so busy running around yeah. and talking this time and this doing season. this yeah. and doing that. There are a lot of people who are uncomfortable with being by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. They go crazy. They have to be doing something and this is where the world pushes you. Exactly. I love being by myself. Sometimes it's good to be quiet and um, connect. Yeah, connect to yourself mm -hmm. and be quiet and listen to the word of the voice of the Lord through the Holy Spirit. You see, you just said it. Mm -hmm. Because when we stop and be quiet, that is when we can hear the Lord speaking right. to us. That's true. Yeah. Uh, we thank you so much for sharing your talents, your knowledge, and your insp inspiration with us. And we hope you come back again so we can do more of it. And hopefully it could inspire other people. Uh, since you have so many talents and so many hearts. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. It's this always has a pleasure. been a yeah. wonderful, wonderful yeah. occasion. We appreciate thank what you. you're doing. I thank love you. the stories. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Really inspiring. I'm serious about that. I'm going to give me a glass of wine and I'm going to take out my canvas. <laughs> All right, <laughs> stop painting. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So we wish you and all our audience, everyone there, a peaceful joyous enjoyable merry christmas um happy productive and prosperous new year and many many years yeah. right. many many years yes. and so, again you got wonderful also you can email us also at lady v show family support and resources ny.com and we have our Peace Fair coming up. 2020 Peace Fest. Yes. It'll be our 38th year. So mm. be with us, have fun, enjoy. We welcome everyone, individual as a group, to participate, collaborate, and enjoy it with us. It's on Monday Memorial Day in Fort Green Park. Fort Green Park on Morrow Avenue between North Portland and St. Edward. Always on Memorial Monday, 
Memorial Day in Fort Green Park. Because the, the date changed. But Monday is always Monday and Memorial Day is always Memorial Day. So we look forward to see you. So let's have fun to celebrate peace. It's all about peace, love, unity, compassion to other people, to be love yourself and love other people. Peace and love. I'm a...